So today is the day we give this a try. We set up our tripods and stuff, and today we are going to try to bow hunt lions. I have no idea if this is going to work, but if you're watching this video, then we got it to work in some capacity. But I did bring the crossbow as well as the hawk edge, so if we need a little more range, if the lions aren't cooperating quite enough, we will try the crossbow. But I'm really hoping we can actually take some out with the compound, because they're big animals. They have really big lungs. Like, if we can get them to 40, 45 meters, I think that'll be good. And I'm really interested to see, like, how close they'll come. Because we got that blonde lion to come out of his cover uh, when he was drinking a couple of weeks back. And that was really cool. And I think he should have came further. We just shot him. So, I want to see how this works. I'm really intrigued to see if we can actually do this with the tripods we have set up. And we're starting up here in the northeast. We're going to get down to that tripod. And there should be lions there by the time we get there. So, I'm kind of excited to do this. There's actually a lion coming this way. I wonder where he drinks at, so we're not going to be able to use the tripod, but one of the main reasons I set the tripods up was because it was just an area we could get to and be hidden with the wind being good. We don't have to use the tripods for this. I don't know, he must drink like over here, and I don't generally see lions drinking down in this area, but there's plenty of brush to hide in. Maybe we can get our first lion with a bow off the ground. Yeah, I don't know where he's going. I also don't know that I'll be able to call him in. Although he turned this way immediately, I didn't expect that. A lot of times, like, when they're on their way to a zone, you can't turn them around no matter what you do. Like, that's all animals, not just lions. But he is coming right in, which is so cool. Like, I just don't ever call lions. I just shoot them with the 300 and move on. It's, it's actually quite cool to see them coming into the calls. They're quite patient, and I've noticed that before. So we should have time to get into this brush. And this is the thing that I don't know. This is as far as I've gotten. I've called a couple of lions, and they've trotted some, and then stopped, and I've shot them. So I don't know if they come closer, and that's going to be really the key factor. Because otherwise, I guess what we could do is sneak in really close every time. And then, you know, just kind of uh, call once we're close enough. But it looks like this is going to work just fine. We're going to let him get broadside. How cool is that? Calling in lions. I don't know why I've never done it. But it's dang cool. Okay, he's going to go around this tree. Why is this so intense? I love this already. Of course, he doesn't want to completely cooperate. Do I need to call again? I think he's maybe alert. We can get a shot in there, though. I think we can shoot between there. Yeah, of course, he's going to turn... Oh boy. Alright. That's good and close. Nice. I think that's a hard shot. But that was cool. I actually don't know if I want to use the tripods. Heart and double lung. Obviously just a level 5, so nothing special. But I actually really liked being on the ground for that. I just didn't expect it to work as well as it did. Got a 7 with the max weight estimate coming in, so that's one we want to kill for respawns. Now, should I just... I think I might try to call that in, as well as that worked the first time. Since he'd be coming in on a good path and we have some brush to hide in again, I'm going to hit the call and see if he comes over here. He is trotting. That seems to be one of the factors. Like, if they start trotting, they seem to be coming in. Now, I want to stay up the hill so the wind is good, but he is coming our way. And they're really easy to alert, so... Uh, maybe this brush to our left will hide us? I think I'm really going to enjoy this, though. So as expected, he's a little more patient since he's the higher level. But I think this is going to work, like, no problem. And 100% we're going to have to try to get a diamond line with the bow at some point, but... I'd like to get him a little closer. It's actually an animation I don't tend to see up close very often. Oh, we're actually not fully hidden here. Okay, now we are. Just gotta stay back a little bit. But, yeah, they are very patient. Like, they'll stand around for what seems like quite a long time. 45 meters. I kind of want to try that. So we zero for 40. I'll have to aim a little high, and the wind's not going to be much of a factor. Stay back away from his head. Oh, he started walking right when we shot. 
We might be losing the gold on that one. I don't even know if we got intestine. That was kind of unfortunate. I don't know if we were going to have it lined up anyway. And it does look like we got intestine. So it'll kill him. We're going to lose our gold. I kind of want to try to save it with a gun, but also, like, the entire point of this is a bow hunt, so... I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, he's actually just going to die right over there, so... The important thing is, we killed one with a max estimate, and we know that he could be a good respawn animal, but one thing I'll probably be a little more careful about for the future shots is making sure I get good broadside angles where they're not going to move. I'm actually just now realizing, didn't we shoot a max weight estimate level 7 up here when we uh, set this up? Because probably uh, this is a respawn. We were so close. If he didn't start walking 100%, we got the liver. But, lesson learned. We'll be a little more patient with our shots and stuff. But I want to go somewhere we can definitely use a tripod. I think we could do it here, but we're going to have to come from the south. So let's actually go to this area in central Savannah. And we'll go to a couple of spots just without fast traveling. Ooh, so we actually have maybe a redemption opportunity. There's another level 7 up here. I'm quite happy to see some good level lions because I was kind of worried like we shot some decent ones in that last video. I didn't know if there'd be any for this one, but it looks like we're going to be fine. By the way, just real quick to demonstrate the new nervous system if you've not seen it. She's actually drinking. Like, she'll do the animations and everything way out there, 250 meters from the lake. Which is just really odd, but this dude's at 30. I think we can get that. And he's actually quartering nicely, so we shouldn't hit his skull. But, looks like he's going to make our lives a little easier, which probably I should wait for. Now he's plenty close though. See, the thing is, I can't shoot down through his head. Jeez. Oh gosh, he's aggressive? I've never seen them go aggressive, actually. We're not going to get to see much. I wish I could have spotted him because I can't look down any further. But I've actually never saw a lion go aggressive before. Now the thing is, for the longest time, I didn't have, or I had Zach Tactics, so I couldn't see their state. So maybe I have had one go aggressive, but that's the first time I'm certain of it. So we had to be a little bit creative and shoot through his back to make sure we didn't hit the skull. A nice little 45 trophy rating gold line, 10 meters away. Those tripods are pretty dang effective for stuff like that, and it just saved my life, because surely he would have killed me. But... Let's try this lake. This is the last place I shot a level 9 on my map, so maybe respawns, or at least usually there are lions here. Though I guess not this time, because we'd be able to hear them if they were here. So we're actually going to go north to this spot, and then hopefully we're going to have time to get to the other one as well, because that's one I really want to get to. But it's just going to depend on how quickly we can do this, and I guess how quickly any lions that are here actually come in. So this is a spot I really wanted to try. I can hear at least two lions in the distance just breathing. So we're going to go ahead and get them coming in, hopefully. I don't actually know if they're going to be in hearing range, but I believe they should be. But the reason I wanted to try this spot is we have kind of like one little opening here to maybe get a shot in. And then otherwise, there's a lot of brush and high grass. So I think it's kind of just a cool area. And if we can happen to get a lion to come into this spot and get a shot there, that would be perfect. I think I hear footsteps already. Oh yeah. Just a female. But she's coming in exactly where I want them to, so... I think we'll try to get that. I wish she would stand still for longer, but... So she's aggressive. Let's just kind of watch that again. We barely got any time to see it, because we had a, a better shot on that one, but... I'm curious what all they do... When they're aggressive, because that's about all I've seen. So I hear another lion. I don't know if it's in range for the call. But we'll hang out a minute and see. Oh, actually, that's the lion I hear right there, so... That ain't gonna work too good. I know there sometimes are male lions over here as well. But, I mean, this one did exactly what I wanted, so... I can't complain about that. I'm actually not sure what this line is. I can't say I've ever spotted this one. It's level 6. And just to see, 
Are there any over here where I usually see them? It doesn't look like it, so I'm actually going to go ahead and get that six with a gun. Just because I want to get to the other spot, and of course he's nothing too special. And I had to work all the way around the lake just to call him in. Plus we got one from here. It's a little bit of gun hunting in the bow video, but I think we might just have enough time to get over there and set up in the other spot, but we'll see. You know, there's actually other lion tracks there, but really I just wanted to kill that guy for respawns. And uh, of course, <laughs> there was a max estimate one, so maybe we can go and see what it is quick. And we can actually reset the time and come back here. Because he should be drinking here again, but we're like at the end of line drink time. But I do want to just see maybe what we're dealing with, because I definitely don't remember shooting any big lines here. So I don't even know if that's a respawn. That just might be one I've never seen. But there he is. Okay, he's just a big seven. But we'll come back and try to get him anyway. So there's just no lions here. There's Jackal. There's a bunch of Gemsbuck hanging out. But no lions. And it's like well into their drink time. They should be here. So I don't really know why that one didn't come back. I think we'll come back through here in a little bit and see maybe if he is here. But you can't miss them. You can hear them breathing from so far away. Like they're just not here. So we're going to go check this other spot and then maybe we'll come back here. All right. I don't know if it was a good idea. But I scooted it over here to the edge of where we're hidden. He still hasn't spooked. Oh, I see him. All right, a few more steps, man. He doesn't look alert. They have like quite distinct alert animations. Oh boy, all right. Nope, still not gonna quite come close enough. Maybe he will now, I was about to call again. All right. Hopefully that's got him. <laughs> we gotta get out of the way. I think that's a medium bleed, right? Please no kill me. Jeez. All right. <laughs> that was kind of interesting. But uh, maybe the coolest one so far. Another 45 trophy rating, level seven. Nice, pretty much blind double lung shot. Really just had to work that one though with the way the wind was and everything, but. Unfortunately, we're at the end of their drink time again. Actually, what I'm going to do is check this spot super quick. Because I do have a tripod here, and the wind should be okay. But a lot of times they spook when I fast travel here. Yeah, it looks like we got a female to come out of the brush anyway. So I'm thinking we're going to use the crossbow on her, actually, just because we might as well at least get a shot out of it since we brought it. And then, yeah, we're going to do one more time reset. And we're going to go check that spot where that max estimate level 7 was. Just because I do want to make sure I get him for respawn reasons mainly. And of course, he would be maybe the biggest one we've seen so far. Because the second line was also the same estimate. So the nice thing is we don't have to be as careful about the range with this. That's a little under 50. And that should be pretty good. Yeah, she's dying. The aggressive thing is interesting. I didn't actually, uh, I didn't notice if that last one went aggressive. I couldn't tell because I was too busy trying to run out of the way. That's bad wind, so I don't know that we would have had a chance, but there is one over there. So we'll go and take a look, maybe get it with a gun if we have to. But yeah, kind of cool to see the lions go aggressive. The only time I've ever seen it is today and like really only the day after they get hit with an arrow. But yeah, that's another female, so let's go ahead and do that time reset and see if we can get that guy up here. All right, good, so he's actually there. And honestly, with him being where he is, the wind is pretty okay. Like, we can work our way further right and make sure the wind shouldn't really be a factor. So I'm gonna mark where he's at. Make sure we don't get too close and spook him by accident, but we ought to be able to make this work really without any issues. We just gotta get up here and find some decent cover. So I think we're actually going to use this tall grass. And of course, they do have better senses than other species. Like, I'm quite convinced of that from this. I always kind of thought maybe they did. But every time I try to stock up on one of them, they're actually getting alert like further away than other species usually would, I think. But 
Luckily, this grass will hide you, and generally you can really kind of choose where you want to be and get the sea well, because it kind of hides you all the way out to the edge, so we'll get ourselves positioned where we can see. We gotta stop moving, because it is very loud moving around in here, but hopefully he hasn't spooked, and yeah, he's still there, so we should be set to get him. I actually really hope we can find a legendary one day to try to get with the bow, because I'd be curious to see how quickly it comes in, because this guy doesn't cover a whole lot more than, like, maybe 10 meters before he stops. Like, this is the furthest he's gone without stopping for a while, and he went, like, what, 14? Although he actually is moving again, so maybe we finally convinced him. So do we go for that? The wind's blowing right. I'd like to get him closer. We made this mistake at the beginning of the video. We're going to learn from it and let him get a little closer because he's calm. Actually, now he's broadside, so I would go for that if he stopped again. We're probably looking at somewhere maybe like 28 meters. Nice. He is aggressive. I want to see what he does. Okay, he just kills me. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know because uh, from the tripod it may be... Oh, we can just climb. Easy. Uh, from the tripod, and it may have been because we were in the tripod and they can't reach us, they just sort of stood there and growled at us. So I was curious if he would sort of, like, confront me like the wolves do, but he just wanted me dead. But, uh, yeah, a little bit of revenge on the higher-end level 7s, and, like, not only was that one of the coolest things I've done in this game for a while, we got two max weight lions for respawn, so hopefully something good can come from that as well. But this is, hundred like, 100%. We're going to do this again. 100%. We are going to bow hunt lion to get in the future because that was really fun. And like I said, I want to find a level nine. I want to kill that with a bow, and I want to see how like long it takes to call them in because I bet it's a long time. But that would be something that's really worth it. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.